guys welcome back to a new video and in this video i'm going to show you guys exactly how to make that awesome iphone uh, speech bubble effect like, like you guys have seen in the intro so i would say make sure to smash that like button down below and i would say let's get started so as you can see right now this is basically the clip that we're going to use and this is basically a clip that i got from youtube i did not animate um the actual uh, the bubbles itself. I just found a really nice template on YouTube with the green screen So you can just go ahead and remove the green screen re real simple with uh, the chroma key I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that in video in this video So I will say let's get started So as you can see once we have downloaded that video from YouTube when we play it back as you can see Those are the speech bubbles that are popping up on the screen So what we're gonna do the first thing is it's, it's nice. They're also nicely uh, positioned so that means that we don't have to do anything anything about it so you can just only add in the text so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the exact same text that I did uh, at the intro so I'm gonna go to the uh, media generators tab we're gonna scroll down until we see titles and text now we're gonna drag in the default one on top of our clip and what we're gonna do is we're gonna also make the text slide in with the speech bubble so I'm gonna go ahead and firstly type in what, I, what it's going to say in the speech bubble let's say let's make a video then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make first of all resize it a little bit so i'm gonna put uh, maybe 10 and then what we're gonna do is firstly we're just, we're just gonna position this into the speech bubble i'm gonna make it a little bit smaller though because the speech bubble is not really that big so we're gonna go ahead and precise and put it a little bit like so so as you can see that one looks really cool i'm gonna make sure that uh, the, te the text is centered though so as you can see when it says Alex make a video, uh, we're gonna just gonna go ahead and make that slide in like the first one. So what we're gonna do first of all is we're gonna make sure that we will have the text as long as the clip is. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the uh, this one that is called the event pan crop. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and check uh, sync cursor and we're gonna make sure that this icon is set to move to X only. So we're gonna go ahead and start off by sliding this outside of the screen. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and you know pick frame by frame. We're gonna go ahead and make the text uh, slide in with the speech bubble. So I'm gonna go ahead and move up a few frames. As you can see, there is the first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that my name and uh, the word is in the speech bubble. So I'm gonna go ahead and place it like this. As you can see, just keep on mask. Well, not really masking, but just, you know, keep with the keyframes, keep it up, and then you can just go ahead and uh, slide in the text. Really, really simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. Move up a, f a frame, then place it back in the right position. And then we're gonna move up a new frame. Make sure to position it right, move up a frame, move up another one. And then we're gonna just go ahead and do that until the speech bubble is fully in the screen. So we're gonna go ahead and keep on skipping some frames. And once we have keyframed all of this, it will look like it is sliding into the screen just with the speech bubble. It's a really cool and but a really simple technique as well that you guys can apply. So if you move up a few frames, this is basically how it looks. So if I go ahead and close out for a second, if I play back the video, this is what it looks like. Okay, so now that we got done masking, if I play it back, as you can see, the text is nicely sliding in with the first speech bubble. So that one looks really, really cool. And now we're gonna do the same thing for the second, spe uh, the second speech bubble. So we're gonna just go ahead and create a new video track. We're gonna drag in text file. Then I'm gonna just type in what I answered in the intro, which that is, uh, dude, I'm tired, like this. Uh, it works exactly the same, guys. Just go ahead and uh, and and make sure to position this right. And if if it is uh, not really that readable, you can also make the text black, obviously. 
So we're going to do it for the exact same thing for the second one. We're going to go ahead and go to the event pan crop. We're going to go ahead and make sure that sync cursor is checked. And then we're going to start off with the first one. So I'm going to do this uh, for the entire speech bubble so you guys know how it rolls. I will speed it up and I'll add some music and then I'll come back to you guys when that is done. Okay, so as you can see, I just finished uh, the second speech bubble. So if I play back this video, as you can see, the first one is sliding in, the second one is sliding in, then the other one is sliding in, and then the last one is sliding in. So this is basically how you create a nice conversation with iPhone speech bubbles. It is that simple, just add in your text, go ahead and make the text slide in with the speech bubble like I showed you guys with the if amp and crop. So it is that simple and that straightforward. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. And I will see you guys on Monday with a brand new Vegas 15 tutorial as always. So thank you for the support and I will see you guys on Monday. Just Alex Halford.